Now let's try the problem talking about the force of attraction. Now you all know that if you have a positive charge in one place and a negative charge in the other, what happens is that they begin to feel a force of attraction. They're coming towards each other. Now how does that work? Well, it's not terribly difficult. We have an equation for it, which you can find in your textbook. So the force of attraction is based off of their charge. The greater their charge, the greater the attraction. The shorter the distance, the greater the attraction. And so it looks like this. We have 2.31 times 10 to negative 28 <whistles> newtons meter squared. Now this guy's a constant. It's true for every single um, problem like this. Then we multiply that by the charge of one, which is Z1, charge of the second one, which is Z2, I put that over the radius squared, so the distance separating them squared. And since this right here is in meters squared, this guy needs to be meters squared too. So the problem gave us everything else. We can just plug it in and get our answer. So, oh, went too far there. You can't even see the problem statement now. There we go. So 2.31 times 10 to negative 28. Newton meters squared. Okay, I did neglect that they were supposed to take the absolute value of these guys, otherwise, I get a negative force, which isn't true. And so I then multiply that by two, and then by three, I take the absolute value all over the radius squared. I gave it to me nanometers. Nanometer means times 10 to the negative nine meters. That's what that guy means. So that helps us out a little bit there. So we put it on the bottom, which is 8.6 times 10 to negative 9 meters. And then I square that. So plugging it in, you just be careful with your calculator, because when you're doing these like times 10 negative 28 or times 10 negative 9, you make mistakes sometimes. If you plug it in correctly, what you should get then is 1.9 times 10 to the negative 11th newtons. So this is a very, very small amount of force. This would be, let's see here, 19 piconewtons. So very, very small. Cool. So that's it for this one. I hope it helps you. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.